So the work that we've done for nonprofits is pretty varied. Uh, we've helped with startup entity formation. Uh, we've done consultation on IRS filings for 501c3, c4, c6 status. Uh, we've developed articles, bylaws, policies. We've done that from the initial entity formation stage. We've done it for updates later on when our organization is more seasoned down the line. I've been involved quite a bit in more general board governance and, and board risk management. Um, so over time, I've evolved from litigator into transactional lawyer and now into kind of more consigliere and some of the work I do myself, some of it other folks here at the firm help with. Our firm is a full service business firm. So we offer a full suite of corporate and business services. And for a lot of the work that we do for nonprofits is the same that we do for for-profit companies. So just like for-profit companies, nonprofits have to hire people, they have to have finance, they have to deal with contracts and risk management, insurance, they have to deal with real estate, they have to deal with intellectual property. So there's some issues that are a little different um, for nonprofits. So for example, kind of gets very context specific in representation in higher ed, we've, we've been involved in that work and, and there it's been worker in Title IX, Department of Education compliance and higher ed tends to have a lot of stakeholder type of work that you have to work through. So discussions between administration, students and staff, privacy issues and the like. For public service nonprofits, there's often an element of fiduciary and public trust funding, auditing and compliance, and reputational issues can be quite significant. So if you look, there's a number of high profile board and staff issues that can dramatically threaten the standing and viability of a nonprofit in the community. So from time to time, we're brought in to counsel on those issues. 